Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're going to take a look at Hydro Speed, a ceramic quick detailer from Chemical Guys. We've had Hydro Slick and Hydro Charge on the channel, and it was about a year, year and a half, maybe even two years ago. So this is a quick way to maintain them if you are still using those two. So let's take a closer look. It is quick and easy to use. You're looking at about 5% or less of SiO2 within the mixture. It doesn't mention it anywhere uh, on the label or on the site. However, being this easy to use, there's not going to be a lot in the formula. Besides using this to maintain HydroSlick or HydroCharge, you can use it on top of any existing protection on your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, or RV. And it can also be used on its own. Best used if you are in a shaded, cool environment. Spray either directly onto the panel itself and spread out with a microfiber or spray into a microfiber, spread it out, and follow up with a nice clean one to buff to perfection. No real mention of cure time, however, it does state can be used on all exterior surfaces. Anywhere from paint to glass, chrome, rims, and even plastic trim. Don't forget about your wheels and calipers as well. Not only safe to go over any existing protectant, you can go over paint protection film as well. When this is finished and it's laid down, we will use it on top of the PPF. Having used it now a few times, I can share, it is easy to use. You will feel the slickness right away, and it does nothing to kick back the gloss on this gorgeous blue paint job. If you will use it as a standalone, like we will on a test panel here, proper prep, will give you the most out of it. That means a wash, the whole decon uh, routine, and at least a cleaner polish or enhancement or a one step. Here on the test panel, uh, it's a little bit easier for me to show just how easy it is to use with the aid of the shop light. Chemical guys, although popular, can get some criticism from now and again. What drives me nuts is the 15 products that does pretty much the exact same job, just trying to separate you from your wallet. But every company has some diamonds in the rough. Uh, I enjoy some products from Chemical Guys as well. Uh, so I have no problem sharing them with you here on the channel. That's all there is to it when it comes to application. No mention of cure time, but I will give it some proper cure time. It'll be a couple days till I get back to this panel anyways. And with some of the detailing products out there, whether it's polymer or uh, SiO2 or uh, any other uh, formula or foundation, it can take up to about 14 days for some of these uh, spray on protectants to peak when it comes to their characteristics. This one here, it's been a couple days and I can immediately feel the slickness and the block just goes right off the panel at the slightest angle, as you can see. 
When it comes to gloss, you're looking at about a four or five gloss unit increase, which is pretty good. Anything three, four, five gloss units is something you can pick up with the naked eye. I also like to see when these protectants can deal with a bit of heat. And that's what we'll do right here. We're going to keep an eye on the bottom right corner of the test panel when we take it outside. And that's exactly where we are now. We'll rip off the tape and we'll look for the jetting effect. Does it look, does the area look darker or richer where we've applied the protectant? I don't see much of that here. Okay, uh, moving on, how about water behavior? For the most part, this one beads, beads well, and if there's enough moisture introduced to the panel, it will sheet rather quickly. Okay, the 10 wash test next, and that is with a bucket that has uh, an ounce or two of a strip wash and also a highly alkaline traffic film remover. And uh, there have been a few products that didn't make it past this round.
no problems here whatsoever. So it's a good sign that the product won't wash off within the first few weeks of applying it. All right, let me dry off the panel so we're not watering down the all-purpose cleaner we will be spraying on next. This is Ardex New Wave, and we'll wipe it in with a microfiber, and we'll see if the... Uh, this is a quick detailer, so I'm not really expecting a whole heck of a lot when it comes to durability. Maybe it's already exceeded my expectations already. Just being something that you use between washes to clean off fingerprints and very light dust and throw a little bit more gloss and protection down. What more do you want? Now, it would be nice if it does go beyond this when it comes to protection because it is 16 ounces for 24. That's a little on the high side if you ask me. Let me give it a quick wash. Sometimes there's a little bit of a residue left behind from any all-purpose cleaner. We're now at the point where it has quick sheeting characteristics for me. I prefer that. Uh, so whatever they add to it to give that intense beating has been worn down a little bit. I have no problem. I'd rather it be like this. Just quick sheeting action leaves less water spots behind. By the way, those that are going to mention that, uh, you know, spraying uh, all-purpose cleaners and, and the chemicals that I will be introducing today, uh, who applies those to uh, clean their car's finish? Well, these products are touted to be able to perform against chemicals up and down the pH scale, sometimes between a 4 and an 11 on the pH scale. These products are within that threshold, so this gives us an idea if it can withstand chemicals. So this is the second round of New Wave. This is a decent all-purpose cleaner. We'll wipe it into the panel one more time. We'll rinse and then we'll wash it and we'll take a look. still sheets rather quickly and it will shed that water uh, in the test area. So it's already exceeded my expectations. Again, whatever they added to give it that uh, intense beating has worn through, but there's still protection there. And I'm going to prove that right here. We're spraying Citral 266, which is a very strong sealant killer. Um, bug remover, uh, adhesive remover, tar remover. And as I bring you in close, you could see it's, it's actually beating the product even after all of the torture we've done so far. So again, we'll wipe it into the panel. I'll rinse, I'll wash it, and we'll take a look. Okay, so at this point, it's taken a big hit. Probably still some protection there, but I'm going to go ahead and rate the product. Uh, so for a rating here on this channel, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It is easy to use. Gloss, decent. Slickness, decent. Durability for a quick detailer, not bad at all. So those that have had uh, some real-world experience with the product, share that with us down in the comment section. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next video.